Mike Gesicki is a great pass-catching tight end but it is becoming clear that his blocking in this offensive scheme may not be a fit. On Saturday night, Gesicki played the first half and made an appearance in the second half. He told the media he wasn't worried because he needed the reps to get more comfortable with this system. As Gesicki pointed out, he has spent the last couple of years lining up as a receiver, and now, he needs to get the work in as an actual tight end, while Gesicki isn't concerned. The Miami Dolphins have to look at the bigger picture, and as one of Gesicki's biggest fans, I have to believe that his future is in question, Miami could see how Gesicki develops over the season in terms of his fit within a system that requires him to block extensively. Something he has struggled with. If the Dolphins feel he can become the tight end they need, they will be faced with a contract issue that they may not want to invest in, trading Gesicki isn't something most Dolphins fans want but it might be time to face reality. Miami will not get anything for him, at all, if they don't, Miami will have three choices to make after this season. Let him walk in free agency, sign him to a new contract that will pay him nearly $14 million a season, or franchise tag him once again and push that number closer to $20 million. Are any of those options truly ideal for a player that is a great pass catching but can't work the interior in an offense that needs him to work the interior? A lot of Mike McDaniel's running game needs the tight end to block and while Gesicki has improved, he is still quite a bit away from where he needs to be, I hate to be negative about Gesicki. Aside from Christian Wilkins, he is my favorite player on this team, but the reality is starting to sink in that his future is not likely with Miami unless the Dolphins use him strictly as a pass catcher and in that case. He may not fit with what the Dolphins' offense is, what could Miami get for trading Gesicki? Possibly a second-round draft pick or maybe a swap of a quality player that could make an impact on the Dolphins' roster immediately. It really is hard to say because the team that Miami would trade him to would have to view him as a long-term player that would require a new contract. If the Dolphins did move on, they would rely on Durham Smythe, Hunter Long, and either Seathan Carter or Tanner Connor. An undrafted rookie, it's not an ideal position for the Dolphins and it makes the franchise tag use a bit questionable. Hopefully. All of this works out and Gesicki gets a long-term contract after the season and stays with the Dolphins. It will come down to his transition back to a pure tight end and a challenge he seems ready to accept. I'm hoping it works out, and if it does, I will own an 88 jersey with his name on the back next season.